Hello everybody, welcome back to another Python video. This is the second video in our series on image processing using Pillow. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the relationship between images and NumPy arrays. So the reason why Python unit four for Math 9 kind of involves image processing is not because image processing is all that important for numerical analysis, um, but the reason we're kind of going in this much depth is that they provide a really good way of visualizing NumPy arrays. So it's just another way for us to practice with seeing what NumPy arrays are and how they work, practicing their indexing, that kind of stuff. So even today, we'll see an example of a three-dimensional NumPy array. And I think this is the first time in Math 9 um, that we've seen a NumPy array with these dimensions. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say img equals image.open and I uh, have this image in my current working directory, so I'm just going to say ashlake.jpg. And if we'd like to take a look, this is the same image as the previous video. So it's this nice picture here. Now, if I try calling type on this, so if I call type of img, notice here it doesn't have anything to do with a NumPy array by itself. So we have to do a little bit more work to get there. And the way we do that is we say arr, is equal to np, and what we use here is something called as array, and then we say img. And now what we can do is we can say, well, what's the type of arr? And we can see this is a numpy n-dimensional array, so good, that's exactly what we want. And since it's an n-dimensional array, I can say, well, what's the shape? So like I said, this is an example of a three-dimensional numpy array, um, and I think it's the first time we've seen something like this in this class. How you should think about these dimensions is, well, the 480 by 480, this is telling me how many pixels along the rows. So kind of you can think of the rows as the number of pixels in this direction. Mm -hmm. And then it's saying 480 pixels in this direction across the top in the columns dimension. And then kind of the strange thing is, well, what does this three at the end mean? So how I want you to imagine pictures being stored is there's pixels so that corresponds to how many rows and columns and each pixel is made up of three color values so these are called rgb values it stands for red green blue um, it's just one way of representing colors digitally so again every pixel contains these rgb values and that tells the computer well what color kind of does that look like so here's the shape Maybe one thing we could do is, well, let's take a look at what's the top most left pixel. Um, what do I mean by that? I can say what's ARR at position 00. zero. And we can see here it's saying 83, 161, 148. So remember R, G, B. So the least amount of red, the most amount of green, and then pretty close amount of blue. So that makes sense because the top left here, this is kind of more green than blue. It's greenish blue color. So the very top uh, leftmost pixel has this RGB, has these RGB values. Good. Um, we might wonder, well, what's kind of the smallest RGB value, the largest RGB value, value um, that appears in this picture? Um, maybe what I mean by that, well, what's the range for red, green, and blue? Like what values can these take? So one thing I can do is I can say arr.min. And we can see here this returns zero, so maybe not so surprising. But now let's see, what about ARR.max? And this here returns 255. So this kind of gives us the whole range of possible numbers that we can pass for RGB. So zero is the smallest, 255 is the largest. So altogether that gives 256 possibilities. Um, and that's two to the eight. So if you notice up here, we're storing eight bit integers. Um, so one reason why we kind of have these 256 options. Good. Um, so like I kind of mentioned at the start of this video, this image processing unit gives us a really nice way of visualizing NumPy arrays. So what I mean by that is what if I said something like, let's take ARR, let's take all of the rows, let's only take from 300th column and on. And what I can do is I can say, what's the shape of this? So we can see here 480 by 180 by three. So remember 480, that represents all of the rows. 
columns after 300, so 300 and on there's 180, and then these are RGB values. So let's remember, here's what the image looks like. And to visualize this slice of an array, what we can do is say, let's take image dot from array. So this is how we can go the other direction. So we get an image from an array. And I'm gonna put the same thing, array, take all of the rows, take 300 after columns, and let's see what we get. So we can see here, I guess it's kind of hard to tell exactly where it is in the picture, but notice kind of, at least I'm looking at the sand going like up like this, and looks like it's this portion of the picture. So I think this is a good place to end the video. In the next video, we'll talk about actually changing colors in this image. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.